Hi everyone, it's Giselle here and I wanted to record another message for today that I felt was very prominent at this time because I want for you to feel empowered, for you to feel that you are a divine being and that you can co-create with the divine the life that you want and for you to understand and know that this is your story that this is your journey and your adventure and that you can create the fairy tale that you want and know in your heart that that is your story and I just want to say this because there are some people who are a bit pessimistic and through their life experience um, they've become a little bit just, you know, discouraged and through their experience and what they feel is their truth, they then come on either my channel or other people's, it's not just my channel, I've seen it on other people's forums and, and messages um, and comment sections as well, where they just leave discouraging comments to those who do feel optimistic and believe in their true love story. And they say stuff like, oh, well, not every twin flame is supposed to come into reunion in this life. And, you know, forget that, right? I want you to understand that you are a divine being. You have come here to experience nothing but the best. You have incarnated in this body, in this life. Come to earth with your beloved so you can create the life of your dreams. And whatever you see as your truth is your truth. And whatever anyone else's experience or opinions may be, that's their experience and opinion. But that has no hold, holds no bearing over your life, over your story. And so you can write your story and manifest it the way that you desire. And if other people's life experience tells them that they can't come into union with their beloved well okay that's fair enough that's their story but your story is what you decide do you decide that you can't come into union or do you decide that you are destined for greatness for true love and to be in union what what is your story and stay true to that and one way to know for sure what your story is is feel with your heart use that as a pendulum Never mind using crystals and dangling them and going yes or no. Use your heart, right? And ask yourself, okay, what is my truth? And sit in meditation for a moment or however long it needs for you to calm and clear your mind and just be open and clear within yourself to receive the truth. And ask yourself, okay, scenario A, we are not meant to come into union this lifetime. Is this my truth? Does your heart feel squeezed and small and almost suffocated of its oxygen, restricted and restrained and just very sad, heavy and almost desperate? Well, then you know that's your body saying, no, 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 this is not my truth. Or it could be your truth, whatever. But if you ask yourself then, okay, am I meant to come into union with my, with my beloved? And your heart says, you're feeling open, you're feeling like a flower that's blooming open, that's just ready to receive, and you just feel an expansion of love. You feel that your heart is so full of love that it's going to burst, that you just want to send this overwhelming, beautiful love to the world, and you just want everyone to feel so open, so complete and wonderful well then that is your truth it may be the other way around you know I for myself I can't see how and why that would be the opposite but you know some people it may well be it's just not my truth so whatever question you ask if you feel that your heart is small and broken and sad and, and just crying then that is not your truth. If you feel your heart expanding and happy and joyous and just wanting to burst with, with just joy and love, then that is your truth. So do this exercise. And then whatever you feel. 
And these are genuine, true feelings, right? You can't force these feelings to come on. Your heart will feel the truth, basically. You can trick your mind. You can kind of lie to yourself and, and trick your mind into wanting certain things. But your heart, you can't. Because your heart has genuine feelings. It's, it's just something that you can't pretend, you know? Your words you can twist and turn as much as you want and, and say something completely the opposite of what you mean to say. But your heart and your feelings, those are just... You cannot at all fool yourself if you use your heart to find your way. And once you know your truth, believe in it, stick with it. Know 100% that that is what is meant for you. And you can even write a letter to the universe and say, I know my truth. You know my truth. For I am divine and you are within me. I want to create with you this beautiful life that I have. This truth that is in my heart, that is already mine. I claim this to be born into the physical realm where I will experience this. But in the meantime, I will believe. And I will believe it before I see it, for I know that my heart has already confirmed that that is my truth. So I hope this is encouraging, and I hope that you can use this to reassure yourself. Because, yeah, of course you can have readings, and I can channel people and let them, you know, give messages to you through me, and all those kind of things. They're great. People love them, and I'm so grateful that people use me for, for that kind of service, because I'm so happy that I can share my gift and, and help you. But this, this is something that you can do. And I encourage you and empower you to do this now. If you're in any doubt, you know, use this. And if you're not feeling up to this, if you can't meditate and clear your mind and, and you're still kind of wonky and, and wondering what the heck is going on, write the universe a letter. I've done this when I was not really trusting my heart. You know, it happens. Sometimes you can't trust your heart because of a certain feeling that you're currently going through. Maybe you're just, you know, in a bit of a dip and, and maybe you're even depressed or sad or whatever. Write a letter to the universe and ask the universe for signs. I, I used to ask for three signs and I would get them or I would ask for one massive knock me off my feet kind of sign, um, you know, and I would get it. You can even add, you know, a time frame to this, say, universe, if this is what I'm supposed to be going through, or if this is my twin, or whatever. Please give me X amount of signs, however you choose, by, I don't know, next Friday, for example, or tomorrow even, you know? And be open. Don't think about, oh, i got to look for these signs now. No, just, just almost forget that you've asked for them. But then you'll be finding them in random places. It could even be through a YouTube video. It could be on a billboard. Um, it could be someone saying something to you. It could just be through a film that you're watching. It could be through the food labels on your, I don't know, cereal box. Whatever, right? You will be open and you will receive signs of what you've been asking. So I hope this helps you and I hope that this encourages you to know that you have a story and that you don't need to listen to anyone else's opinions or even allow them to, to kind of force you to go the other way. And you are an amazing pendulum within yourself. I mean, when I read things or hear things, if they don't resonate with me and they make me feel bad or make my heart hurt, I'll turn off. I'll switch off. I'll, I'll not go and look at it anymore or listen to it anymore. I'll delete it, you know, and I'll just walk away and I'll know that, well, do you know what? Thank you for showing me that because now I know what my truth is and I've had it reaffirmed because that definitely did not resonate with me. So now I do know what my truth is. And sometimes we need the opposite, the contrast, to see what we're actually looking for. Just like we've gone through bad relationships to know exactly be clear about the good relationship that we're wanting 
I know that seems quite odd sometimes because like when I was younger I couldn't understand it's like well why did I have to go through bad relationships to find the right thing but it's because I wasn't 100% clear I wasn't clear on exactly what I was wanting I was happy with the bare minimum and really the divine within me doesn't want that my higher self is pushing me for more because she knows I'm capable of more and I know now that I'm capable of more and that's why we've been pushed out of certain situations because that's not for our best good that's not going to lead us to the experiences that we have been secretly dreaming up in our hearts but just didn't believe enough in ourselves that we could attain those things so now is your time dream the biggest dream that you can get write the greatest romance story that you could possibly think up okay no dream is too big and that if that makes your heart bloom open and fill with love and burst with so much love that you just need to give it to the world then that is your truth I hope that this video has helped you and if you would like to connect with me then all my details are in the link. Thank you to everyone who has found me and new subscribers, my loyal clients, my new clients. I'm so so happy that I get to hop along on your journey and see your progress and help you grow. I mean it's so encouraging for everyone and I'm just so privileged to have this kind of bird's eye view almost of the situation because then I can kind of relay the patterns to you and, you know, make you feel reassured that you are not alone because I'm, I'm seeing so many other people going through similar things and how they resolve their issues. And it's so great to just be able to, to, to collect all this data and, and just see so much growth and progress for so many people. It's awesome. So thank you all for watching this video. I do hope that this has empowered you and made you realize that you hold so much strength, that you are a divine being and that you can figure out your truth. So thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.